Kuwait now has a new sister city. That city is Rania, Iraqi Kurdistan. The goal of the Sister Cities program is to create true understanding between people and nations. Some say it's monumental to create a relationship with a country in the Middle East. Good evening. I'm Lori Stribling. Thanks for joining us tonight. While political unrest in the Middle East might seem like worlds away, tonight a fundraiser here in Duluth supported Kurdish refugees facing threats from overseas terrorist groups. Tonight, this Kurdish meal it's biryani, dolma, and kuba might be better served as a Kurdish connection. Back in Kurdistan, and us here in Duluth through this magnificent. Yeah. I'm Lori Stribling. Thanks for joining us tonight. A group of people from northeastern Iraq are visiting Duluth as part of a cultural exchange project. The visitors came to share experiences and stories, but with protests erupting throughout the Middle East, there was an underlying message some wanted to make sure was heard. Here at the Islamic Center of the Twin Ports, those misconceptions are shattered as a group from Duluth visits with people from Rania, a Kurdish city in northeastern Iraq. Our city. Duluth Sister Cities International has successfully established ties with a community in Iraq. Katie we Anderson. Engaging the world community in a way that. They've always been excluded. The partnership inspired people in Rania to form their own organization to strengthen ties with other cities in the Middle East and the world. It's kind of a ripple effect in many ways. Luth has and established its fifth sister city and the first one in the Middle East. Rania, Iraq, has 95,000 residents and 250,000 in the surrounding area. Duluth Mayor Don Ness, members of Duluth Sister City, peace were traded while both mayors signed this final agreement. It's wonderful to see you all and as much as we would have liked this to have been in person. They really have. They've been talking about a visit like this for nearly three years and last year a group of Duluthians went to visit the Kurdish city of Rania and this year the Iranians finally got their chance to visit Duluth. But they're already planning for their next trip from Congressman Jim Oberstar's office. They even fit in a visit to the library. I'm very excited to be Welcome back. A local choir recently returned from northern Iraq where they were sharing the gift of music. The 22-member Echoes of Peace Choir traveled to Rania, a town in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. They were teamed up with Iraqis to put on concerts and learn more about the culture.